Hello marketers! In a previous tutorial, I had introduced the power of pivot tables in Excel. I showed you how to quickly analyze data given a large data table and how to filter and drill down to see what's performing and non-performing. Today I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly consolidate data using a pivot table when you have data from two different tables and the data from the two tables have one column in common. I'm going to be doing this demonstration with a daily creative delivery report from POF and an analyzed keyword report from Prosper 202. Okay, let's get started. I have in front of me the daily creative delivery report from POF. We're going to first create a column in front of the table and call it keyword. And here we're going to calculate the keyword from our click through URLs. And if you don't know how to do this, I'd recommend that you take a look at our previous Excel tutorials or simply copy the formula I have here. I'm going to fill this down. This keyword column is going to be the common string between the two reports. If I look at the Analyze Keyword Report from Prosper, you can see that the same keywords exist. Now we're going to consolidate the data from the two tables and make one table that has the relevant information. To make that special type of pivot table, we need to bring up the pivot table wizard. To bring it up, simply hit Alt DP. And we're going to select multiple consolidation ranges. Click Next again. We're going to select the first range, which is the POF table. Click Add. And then we're going to select the second range, which is the Prosper 202 table, and click Add. Now we're finished. At first, this data isn't going to make too much sense. The first thing we need to do is go to Options, Summarize Values by, and click Sum instead of Count. Then let's filter all the columns that we don't need. We're going to uncheck all the columns that have irrelevant data. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys one thing. Let's go back to the Daily Created Delivery Report for a second. I've edited some of the column labels in the POF report, specifically Click and Cost. I did this because the Prosper 202 report has the same columns. In order to not get confused, I added a parentheses POF by each of the names. This is a requirement so that the pivot table doesn't get confused either. Now let's continue from where we're at. So we got a lot of columns here and we just want to filter out the ones that are irrelevant. So let's uncheck some of these columns. Average CPC, campaign name. We want clicks from Prosper, so we want to uncheck the clicks from POF. And we want the cost data from POF, so we're going to uncheck the cost from Prosper. And I check creative ID, creative name, date, EPC. We want impressions, we want income, we want leads. And the rest of them are irrelevant. Let's also remove this grand total column. It doesn't really mean anything. Go to design, grand totals, and click off. At this point, we've actually successfully combined the data from the two tables. With the data here, we have enough to calculate CTRs, EPCs, CPCs, conversion rates, and so forth. I'm going to demonstrate how to add a calculated item by calculating ROI. So first to calculate ROI, let's calculate a column for profit. So what we want to do is go to Options, Fields, Items, and Sets, and click Calculated Item. We're going to call this Profit. And the formula is going to be Income, Insert Field, Minus Cost, but we want the cost from POF insert item. Click OK and we have that column. Now let's insert another calculated item for ROI. Let's call it ROI and the formula is profit insert item divided by cost insert item. Click OK. It says that calculated item or field could not be created because another item or field of the same name exists. This is because one of the data tables we're using, namely the Analyze Keyword report from Prosper 202, already has a column named ROI. So the pivot table is confused. So let's give it a unique name. Let's call it ROI Actual. Click OK. So now we got the columns we need. Let's format the values a little bit so they're presentable. Clicks are going to be numbers and so are leads. And so are impressions. Cost is going to be a currency. 
and so is income and profit. And the ROI column is going to be a percentage. There we go. So let's say now I want to sort my keywords by ROI so I can filter out the worst performing ones. This type of consolidated pivot table is actually pretty limited in functionality. I personally don't like to work with it. So what I do at this point is highlight the entire table, hit Control C for copy, make a new sheet, and paste that table. Now I've got a regular old Excel table to work with. I'm going to go to Data, Sort, Sort by ROI, Smallest to Largest. So now I've identified the top six worst performing ads, and I can go and deactivate these ads. So there you have it. I hope you learned something new about pivot tables, and we'll see you next time.